Welcome back, Hookaholics. Another episode of Foul Mouth Fishing. Um, I've had this for a few days, but uh, I just haven't had time to do the unboxing. But we got it to drop right now. So uh, I got a few moments free. So let's get into it. This is the October uh, Rush Tackle Box. Um, another great uh, monthly subscription package. Uh, Rush Tackle Box, like MTB and all the others, uh, they just give you a series of baits. Rush Tackle Box guarantees uh, six baits at least six items in each box and we got uh, one two three four five, six this time uh, total value of the October rush tackle box that I received is forty six dollars and ninety four cents so uh, we got a good selection of, uh, of items this month uh, let's crack into it make this quick so right off the bat for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents I have a live target mystery hard bait so they just basically pull a live target hard bait and throw it in. This time what we've got is from the Bait Ball series. This is the Glass Minnow Jerk Bait. Um, I believe I have a few of these. Uh, I don't know if I have this color. But uh, again, this is just a plastic uh, jerk bait designed to look like a series of a series of fish swimming along in, in tandem in this case. Good jerk baits. Um, this one is Let's see, this color is uh, golden bronze, and it's a uh, three to four foot diver. It weighs a half ounce, so not a bad three to four foot. Uh, that's good in this fall transition, uh, where they're still pushing shad up shallow. You can run this, um, minnows obviously with that gold color, uh, or stained water, you want something like this. That's a good bait. Again, they want $12.99 for that. Um, these, uh, these, these bait ball series, They've come down in value, um, you know, they, didn't, they weren't a huge seller, I think, like Live, Tar Live Target expected off the bat, but still, they work, a jerk bait always works. Um, next up, Excite Baits, the XB1 for $8.99. So we got ourselves a little silent series, uh, 2 to 5 foot, 3 8 ounce, uh, square bill crankbait. Again, silent, just the... Uh, just the uh, split rings rattle in there a little bit. Nice little bone color with a shad spot on the side. Red, uh, little red gill accents, which is awesome. Uh, Excite Baits does do it. They have really great molds um, and great paint schemes for their stuff, for the, for the price, obviously. $8.99, not bad. Again, right in that shallow water transition uh, uh, level of, of water column. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to get some use out of it for me. So, again, two to five foot. Uh, that's great for throwing out as a bank angler, cast out and retrieve back. You can draw some of those those ledge fish uh, up into the shallow areas and, and nab those, thinking that they're, they've got a fish coming up to, to feed. These kinds of baits, that jerk bait and all, in this period of time, wait for a nice day, a little windy, that's pushing into an inset cove. And fish into that cove because that's where they think they're pushing their uh, their bait fish up shallow. A little hint and tip, uh, common law, common knowledge, but whatever. Next, ah, here's a good bait from Fanatic. Um, this is a goby, six dollars and ninety nine cents. So, goby Fanatic, soft plastic. That right there, uh, weightless Texas rigged or drop shot. I'm, I'm thinking drop shot big time, even Tokyo rig on this, because I'm seeing that big flappy paddle tail right there, and that, I guarantee, is going to lend some excellent action on a drop shot flicking around, or on that, te on that uh, Tokyo style rig, you know, just suspended just off the bottom as you're ticking that, that suspended uh, weight tungsten or whatever. 
that's probably good. This color, I think this is, what is this? This looks almost like that apple juice color or motor oil. They don't list it. They have color number 002. Um, it's not quite a green pumpkin. I want to say it's more like a honey honey brown color, so it's sort of like that motor, motor oil, except it's not as deep dark. Um, but I'm going to give it more like that apple juice color from that other bait, uh, bait company. Nice, you get a, was it five pack? Yeah, five pack of these soft plastics. A lot, a lot of detail. A lot of detail, both in that paddle tail, it's, it's fluted, so it's going to catch some water, have some displacement, as well as the two little goby uh, fins on the side, uh, little swim paddles. That'll definitely give a little bit of flutter for a more, um, more finesse style technique. Always good to have something. If the crankbait gets a strike and you miss, toss back with something like this on a drop shot and, and pick, pick that fish back off. Always good to have a follow-up. Next, from Excite Baits. This is a stick bait for $4.99, so I'm figuring it's a worm. This excites. Nope. There we go. Excite bait. Yep, there you go. A five pack of high floater, um, you know, standard Senkos. Um, not scented. No scent on them. Just your standard. Cinco ring, you know, stick bait, nothing special. Special. Uh, the watermelon black, little black flake in there. Not watermelon, excuse me, green pumpkin, black flake. Uh, yeah, it's good. Always, again, weightless Texas rigged or Carolina rigged. Um, you know, again, a good follow up bait and a good low uh, depth, slow presentation. This is the time to catch all those fish as they're feeding up for the winter. Hold over, uh, $4.99, that's a decent price. Um, next, Slugs, it says, from Z-Bait Company, which is what I thought was that one. So these are basically just a Ned Rig sized stick bait. They call them the Slugs. This is a uh, 2.7 inch, eight count. It's got that anise licorice smell to it, and it's a, a two color. So you've got your uh, green pumpkin, green with uh, with that black flake on one side, and then you've got a red, a red belly. So it's a two color mold, you know, split down the middle there. Green pumpkin on one side, red on the other. That's pretty cool. I like um, these dual molds. I like these dual colors. I like the spiral colors. Anything that has the ability to fish in two different water tones at the same time, uh, to me that just gives me value to my bait because... You know, the fish are seeing that green natural color in nice clear water, or they're seeing that red flash off of the distance in a slightly dirty, murkier water. Especially this time of the year, you're going to see a lot more storms, winds kicking up for winter, uh, rainfall is going to happen, so your, your, a lot of your lakes and waters are going to be a little blown out on one day. They might clear up the next, you know, three or four days later, they're clear water. You don't have to basically go out and buy another set of baits three days later. You can bring these right back out of the pack three days after the water's cleared up and fish them. If it rains overnight, you can still throw these out in the murky water because that red's definitely going to help them get located. Uh, $6.99 for this. Again, this is an eight count. It's salt free, so it should be a little bit more buoyant because uh, obviously salted baits uh, help with the, the, um, the sinking. They suggest Texas Rig, Wacky Rig, Drop Shot, or Carolina. Um, classic scent, anise, licorice. Goodbye. And finally, another large, live target. This one is a soft, oh, soft lure bait. Woohoo! I like this. Mystery Soft Plastic by Live Target for $5.99 to round off again a $46.94 box. These are cool. So I've never had these from Live Target, I don't think. Well, I've certainly not had a split, a split tail. Let's crack these open. Comes in the clamshell, and we've got what they're calling their skip shads. So it's not a skip jack, it's a skip shad. And these are from that double pour system that they've come out with, which I absolutely love from Live Target. I have a few baits similar. Uh, this style or this this process, but not this shape or or uh, 
contour and body. So you've got this really amazingly detailed, realistic uh, fish analog with that split V. And what they do is they have the soft plastic uh, body section and then they over mold it with clear plastic on the outside. This really nice, durable clear plastic, in fact. So I do like that a lot. That, that right there is good to fish just on a belly weighted hook, a lightly belly weighted hook. Uh, fish it as it is, just like you'd fish any fluke. In fact, um, this is the kind of thing that I would use to get rid of my old flukes, the old standard whites, and run with these. So again, uh, I appreciate you spending some time with me. Um, as always, tight lines, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, hookaholics.